Hi, this is Patty, and welcome to Relatively Refined. Before I get started with my video, I wanted to appeal to you to please consider subscribing to our channel. Relatively Refined is a sister's channel where we bring you all things lifestyle, home, garden, thrifting, and all ways to help inspire you to make your home and life more beautiful on a budget. If these videos appeal to you, please subscribe to the channel. You can hit the notification bell and you'll be alerted when a new video drops. And we really do aim for two a week and we would love it if you would join our relatively refined family and go ahead and subscribe. I thrifted these pheasants um, about a month ago at the thrift store. There was a pair of them for $1. And I have actually been looking for a vintage brass pheasant for some time because I had a vision of a gorgeous um, Thanksgiving or fall tablescape <clears throat> with a brass pheasant centerpiece. And I have not had any luck. Although to be clear, um, I haven't been on the hunt for them, just sort of keeping an eye out. So when I saw this pair of them at the thrift store for a dollar, I grabbed them. Now, they weren't exactly what I was looking for. They are smaller. They're about eight inches from beak to tail and maybe about four inches high. And there's a pair of them. Um, and they looked to be, I, they have this um, gap in the neck uh, that I wasn't sure about. Well, when I got them home, as you can see, they are salt and pepper shakers. So that explains why the, um, why the neck was, the head was loose, because that's actually where you fill it. So I just tightened them up. I have no intentions of using them as salt and pepper shakers, but I did intend to display them because I think they really sort of evoke a beautiful, um, classic, very refined look. And I thought they would be a great embellishment for a bookshelf or an end table or a hutch as a display. So I gave them a coat of spray paint and um, I'm going to show you a little bit of that process. And then I'm gonna take you into my sitting room and show you a piece of furniture that I recently thrifted and how I am using that to display not just these metal pheasants, but uh, a few other items that I love. So without further ado, let's enjoy the video. I purchased this beautiful vintage secretary and hutch from a thrift store for $35. It was in the basement of the thrift store and very hard to see. So when I got it up, I wasn't sure if it would be in the best condition. And it turned out it was pretty well, um, it was in pretty good shape. So I have decided to fill this um, piece with items that I previously uh, didn't have a great space for. And as you can see, there's uh, four drawers at the bottom. And inside of the hutch portion, you will notice um, there are my pheasants. <laughs> the salt and pepper shakers that I just talked to you about. And um, you'll see I have some plates and I tried to go with greens and blues and golds as colors in here. So there are the, I will call them my brass pheasants, but they're really a metallic pheasant salt and pepper shaker. They are vintage, they are from the 70s, I would guess. 
And I have a set of four of these uh, cabbage plates. I love these. I thrifted them. And they are from Portugal. And there's the back stamp. And I got a set of four of them for, oh my gosh, I don't even think it was a dollar for the four of them. And I love them. They're perfect for a spring table, an Easter table. And they fit nicely in this rather petite hutch portion of the cabinet. And there is that um, little dish that you probably saw in a recent video. There is a candle holder. I love the beaded clasp on that. There is that little chinoiserie dish that I got um, at a yard sale recently. I think it was 50 cents and I just love the blues and the lotus flowers on the side. And down here on this shelf, I have a teacup and saucer that was my grandmother's. It is Mojen China with 22 karat gold leaf on the side. And it is on top of a book that belonged to my husband's family. It is um, a little bit of history of his family. And I do love this uh, teacup. Um, I love the Washington scene on the inside and the colonial look to it. And there is my uh, one Baldwin brass candlestick. And then over here, you'll see that is a pocket watch that belonged to my husband's grandfather. Um, and it is inside of a cloche. And behind it is that little chinoiserie trinket dish that I got for, I think, 50 cents from a tag sale. This uh, here is a um, chess set, glass chess set that I got at the thrift store, I think for a dollar and a candle snuffer that my sister Paula picked up, thrifted for me. And there is another um, hurricane glass, which I picked up at the thrift store, on top of a uh, Baldwin brass candlestick. We all know how I feel about Baldwin brass. And um, what's nice about this is that hurricane glass, the doors above just clear that. So. It's not even in the way. I haven't put anything in those pigeonholes yet. Haven't figured out quite what I'm gonna do with them. But there's the door, it clears it. <laughs> really lucky, barely. And I'll just clasp that shut. And no, yep, I am missing the skeleton key for this. So I am on the hunt for a thin skeleton key. This secretary portion of it has a dresser with four drawers. They are pretty thin and I have filled them with different linens that I have thrifted in the past. There's some table runners there that you've seen and um, a tablecloth and another table runner in this drawer. And it's perfect storage for those items. In this next drawer, that is a set of uh, valances that I recently thrifted $2 a panel in this pretty twall pattern. Those are from the Vermont Country Store. And I believe the other two drawers are empty. And here you have a close-up look at the hardware, which is all intact. And my favorite part are the feet. I love the feet on this piece. So I'm really pleased to have found this vintage secretary hutch piece for $35 at the thrift store. It is a great piece that provides storage for some of my much loved items. And I bought this, um, this is unlikely to stay here. I bought this with the intent of keeping it in my master bedroom, uh, which is en suite. So my plan was to keep bath products and beauty products in it. 
and maybe hand towels and linens in the bottom and to keep it um, maybe as a vanity type piece. And I still may do that. I've also explored the idea of um, keeping it as a tea station with some really sweet vintage um, teacups and saucers and teapots and maybe tins of tea. So comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are. Should it stay here as it is? Should I consider putting it in my master bedroom as originally intended? Or do you think it would be a cute tea station? I'm really curious to think, see what your thoughts are. Um, but in the meantime, I'm really happy to have this nice vintage piece. It's a good solid piece of furniture and we're certainly enjoying it. And um, so hope you enjoyed this video and I really look forward to seeing you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe. It really helps our channel and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.